very quickly to Aubrey Hyatt, a very dear friend of Travis Alexander. Travis told her something especially disturbing to me. Aubrey, thank you for being with us. I know Travis was like a brother to you, an older brother. I know that he brought Jody to your family's home many times on Sunday dinners. But I'm interested in what Travis told you after Jody slashed his tires. Um, well, Jody slashed his tires probably, um, you know, a few times a week. He was coming home or coming over to our house with the new tire. Um, all the time it was either he was hitting a pothole all the time or he had some kind of stalker um, slashing his tires, um, which appeared to be Jody. Um, he, he would come home and he said, you know, don't be surprised if, I, if you find me dead one day. And, you know, it's, we kind of took it a little bit not serious, like as a joke, because Travis was very humorous. But, you know, as it went on and the more it went on and we found out, you know, who was doing it and it was obvious how crazy um, she was and that it was a serious issue. Aubrey, everyone also taking your calls, calls a very dear friend of Travis's. This is Aubrey Hyatt, who viewed Travis as her older brother. Aubrey, again, thank you for being with us. You said when we finally figured out, when we learned it was, in fact, Jody who had done these things to him, slashed his tires numerous times. How did you find out that it was Jody? Um, just for my brother. He just, I mean, my brother's best friends with Travis. And, um, you know, he shares a lot of close things with him. And so that's how I, you know, would come to find out. So Travis knew for a fact that it had been Jody that slashed his tires and told your brother that's how you found out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Aubrey, she came over to your home many times Sundays after church. What was your take on her? How did they behave around you together? Um. Jody was a little bit like she was very reserved. She didn't talk a ton. Like I couldn't recall one time, you know, hearing her voice. But she seemed like the type of person that Travis wouldn't be with just because he's very outgoing and happy and she was just quiet and kept to herself. Um kind of awkward, I guess you could say. Um and you know, could be the type of person that would be questioned. Aubrey, when you are hearing the way that Travis is being dragged through the mud, how, what is your reaction to that? Um, it hurts a lot, really, because Travis was an incredible guy. And to me, he was the guy who had superpowers. You know, he, he obviously, we all make mistakes in a lot of different things and, you know, he had what he had going on, but he couldn't have ever done anything. And hearing all these things, it really just kind of tears me apart that Jody could be making him out to this type of person because it's not who he was. And, you know, she can get as far as she wants to, you know, defending herself. But Travis isn't here anymore. And it just makes it harder and harder um, to really go on and to you know, let his good memories um, live because she's just making all these bad ones and it's really hard, Aubrey, it's difficult. It, so his words were to you, don't be surprised if you find out one day I'm dead. And he was referring to Jody Arias? Yeah, it was referring to Jody Arias and his crazy ex-girlfriend, you know, um, slashing his tires all it. the time, stalking.